Hey guys, we're in North Carolina. We're at the place where the Wright brothers first took off on their plane, making flight history. We're outside the Wright Brothers Museum and you can see the Wright Brothers Monument there. Uh, the weather couldn't be worse. It's cold, it's rainy, and we're about maybe a half a mile from the beach and we have this huge storm coming in. Um, we're gonna go in the museum first and then if we have a chance, we're gonna try to take you out in the field and show you some of the cool things like the actual flight path and everything and we'll take you up the monument. We're going in the museum now. Carolina beaches, going towards the Outer Banks. So we're driving into the Wright Brothers Memorial. This is in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, and this is where Orville and Wilbur Wright made the first successful flight on a self-propelled heavier than air aircraft back in 1903. Admission to the memorial is $10 per person. Here's a picture of the first flight, December 17, 1903. Here you can learn all about the Wright Brothers family. And you can also see some of the models they made of birds uh, to determine how to get an aircraft off the ground. In 1901, the Wright Brothers recalculated the airlift coefficient using a wind tunnel. This is one of the key factors for later getting their plane off the ground. This is a sewing machine used to stitch up the cloth used on their plane's wings. These are the actual pictures from 1903, the day they got their plane off the ground. So here you see a recreation of the plane the Wright brothers got off the ground in December 1903. This is a Wright brother monument or memorial that was built in 1927. It's up at a hill at one end of the park and many of the original test flights came from this hill. So watch for part two of this video, where we get outside to see where the Wright brothers actually got their plane off the ground. So just click the video down here below to watch it now.